G'day guys, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of reviews into medieval gear, you'll find lots of DIY videos into costuming and also furniture and chests and all of those kind of things. So we explore the whole medieval culture including religion and politics and battles, who the key personalities were and why particular events took place in the way that they did. Today we are going to make a Viking style hood. Reenactment in Australia is typically a winter style activity. It's certainly not for the, for the warmer months and unfortunately uh, reenactment only tends to take place from usually fairly late in the autumn right through to uh, fairly late in the spring. It's never that cold really in Australia to justify a lot of the uh, colder weather gear which I do like to wear. I, I've, um, I spent 11 years of my life living in the UK and I, I enjoy a colder climate. So I like a, a fairly wide hood. There are really only a couple of measurements that we need and that really is the opening for the head and the width that you want your hood to be. So without much further ado, let's take a look quite sure exactly how well you guys can see this. I've marked out two squares which are 35 centimeters each and then there's a section here which is 140 centimeters by 35. So that will cover my shoulders and also go across my head. We'll see this come together in a second. Alrighty, same same with the yellow linen. I've got two sections that are 35 centimeters wide and 70 long, followed by the pieces here. Now I've left these slightly longer, um, the two so-called squares. These are 35 by 40, just to allow for seam allowance. The seams that I use are one and a half centimeters. Now that everything's cut, we can start putting everything together. The place where I tend to start is I put the uh, squares onto the rectangles. Right, by that what I mean is we have the long rectangle in the centre and a square either side. Now I'm going to sew down the back of the hood to close it all up and that's all the wool finished. Alrighty, what you should now have looks like this. Righto, what we now have is the long rectangle folded in half and each of the squares folded in half. And on the right hand side, you won't be able to see it, is the stitching to close the hood in. So when I wear it, the hood is going to look like this. I'm sewing down all of the seams now so the yellow hood is completed and the red hood is completed. I now put the red hood inside the yellow hood with, this, uh, with the seams of the yellow facing the seams of the red. Okay, And then what we do is we top stitch everything down 
and I leave a one and a half centimeter seam. That I tend to find gives me a very strong seam. It's not going to blow out when I least want it to. Once that's completed, I'm going to pull everything out so it's the, essentially the right way out. Okay, so I've top stitched my hood, I've top stitched all, almost all of the lower seams, leaving enough that I can pull the whole thing out the right way. Alrighty guys, we now have a nice completed Viking hood. Very simple, it's taken me all up probably an hour and a half's worth of work. Yes, I've used a sewing machine. Yes, I realize that's not historically accurate. You can hand sew if you prefer, that's fine. It's no real big drama. I really do like the idea of the, the linen. It gives a nice contrast around the hood. And you have a really flexible garment which can help keep you nice and warm. I like a bigger size, it gives me a bit of extra shoulder room. As I say, you don't really need a lot of the cloaks and stuff like that that some people wear uh, in Europe because it's obviously much colder. Uh, in Australia it's, it's simply not necessary. Alrighty, so thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Uh, I will catch you in my next video.